Hey guys, welcome back to another Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery video. So we have a brand new limited time outfit event going on right now and it's called Spring Showers, which you know what? I just wanna point out how cute this looks. I cannot believe how adorable this raincoat is. If you look really closely actually on the raincoat, there are little raindrops falling down on the coat and then at the bottom it sort of looks like, like a little bit like a puddle. Um, the other thing I love about this outfit is the rain boots. I just can't get over how cool they would look with like a pair of like black pants and maybe like a Slytherin sweater or something like that. I don't know if we, if we can sort of do that or if the outfit is just sort of one sort of package and that's what you have to wear and you can't sort of switch up the boots and the coat, but if you can, I think that'd be really cool. But we'll have to sort of wait and see once we actually get the outfit. So get full stars in a class to fill up your progress bar. Get enough progress to win exclusive rewards. So we can earn up to 90 points here. If we get to 90, we will get two blue books. It seems a little bit challenging to do, to be honest. I never quite make it to that point. Um, but I think it should be possible to get to the 85 points that again will give us this outfit. So we're gonna go ahead here and do a class today. We're gonna do a three hour one, but I'm gonna do that in just a couple of minutes here. Um, now we can get some other rewards even by just doing a couple classes. So we can earn up to like five red books and three brown books sort of even before the outfit itself. So if you guys don't have enough time maybe sort of in your schedule to sort of be able to collect all the points that you guys will need to get that limited time outfit, or maybe you just don't even like it. I mean, I think it's the cutest thing in the world, but I mean, if you don't like it, then I could see even just getting a couple of those books can be useful for collecting some of those magical creatures and some pets, actually. Pets do require some of these books as well. Uh, so I find they're more useful for the creatures because that's gonna help with the magizoologist level, which I think is something that's a little bit more important, I think, at this sort of stage and stuff like that. Um, again, we haven't seen a lot with how high your magizoologist level is and sort of how it can affect, I guess, sort of your character in the game or if it gives you any perks. There hasn't really been a lot of that, but maybe there will be once we sort of unlock uh, the class for care of magical creatures. I'm assuming that's a class in this game. Again, year two doesn't have that. We don't even have defense against the dark arch or herbology classes that we can do right now. We do have transfiguration though this year, which we didn't have last year, so basically, um, it was charms and potions were our two big ones there. As long, actually, flying was two, so we did have flying class as well. So three classes were potions, charms, and flying, and basically we were added transfiguration in year two. So I'm not sure what's in store for year three, but we are still working on that. I will be posting chapter eight actually tomorrow, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that because obviously there is lots more to do in this game and especially with these cursed vaults. Um, we kind of failed in chapter seven, so hopefully chapter eight is gonna be a little bit more successful. I feel like we need to sort of regroup though, maybe get the team together and then sort of proceed the way we have to in order to find Delphi's long lost brother. Now, this could be a real twist. I mean, especially when you think about it in terms of if this is another one of Voldemort's child. Like, who's the mother? Is it Bellatrix again? Like, we don't really know. Delphi hasn't talked a lot about this or how even this could be possible. So there's a lot sort of going on with that right now, but we're also trying to sort of figure out whether, you know, Delphi or not is going to sort of be following in her parents' footsteps because we have seen her kind of be courageous, like a Gryffindor and, you know, uh, sweet, like a Hufflepuff and kind and, uh, you know, we've seen some other qualities in her besides the cunning uh, from the, obviously the Slytherins have. So there's uh, definitely a lot more that we still need to learn about Delphi sort of as a character, obviously. So um, again, I am playing as Lord Voldemort's daughter. So, I mean, she does have some evil components and you know she's gathering all of this information for something. Haha, <laughs> truly wicked later on. But again, we don't know exactly is going to be going on. Um, now, I am changing Delphi's look again just a little bit. I changed her eye color back to blue. Um, we had it changed to green for a little bit. 
Uh, we gone back uh, just at least for this video to the black hair I'll probably go back to the silver for chapter 8 but uh, we're sticking with the black for now and the blue eyes I just feel like it's pretty cool I mean I did have the black hair black eyes before but I wanted to sort of still incorporate you know uh, something a little bit different here all right, so let's go ahead and do the potions class as promised. I am gonna be doing a three hour today, so we'll be able to find out how many crests we can get from this class. Search for salamander blood. Given the sorry state of your previous attempts, today we will be reviewing how to brew a fire protection potion. If not for this potion, I'd have been victim to your botched potions long ago. Let's go look for the ingredients we need for the fire protection potion together. All right, so <laughs> Rowan and I are working together. I guess sort of depending on how long your classes that you choose, sort of different things will happen. Um, obviously the three hour sort of starts a little bit differently than like a one hour or an eight hour would. So just keep that in mind. Choose your reward. I have enough creature food for now. <laughs> I think there's some salamander blood back there, but it's too dark to see. All right, so we need to cast Lumos. Brilliant. I used to have the wand that would actually light up, but it broke. It doesn't work anymore. So I need a new wand, guys. Prepare to finish potion. I mean, this one's super cool though. That's enough delaying or inevitable failure. It's time to finish your fire protection potions. Yeah, I mean, I love the one that I do have though. It's very authentic, super real looking. And it's actually Hermione Granger's wand. I'll talk about this maybe like in more detail another time, but uh, I absolutely love this wand. I totally love to have this glued to my hand all day. Casting spells needs to be real <laughs> choose your reward you have to believe in magic i'm going to show snape how much i've improved with this fire protection potion trace it Ta -da! brilliant i am so ready to get into year three guys though like really and truthfully i just need to get out of year two i think i've just sort of had enough of being there <laughs> Talk to Rowan. Stealthy. Let's talk while Snape isn't looking. That is not a good idea. That is never a good idea to talk behind Snape's back. Like of all the teachers you could possibly choose. I mean, McGonagall's also not that smart, but Snape? You're just asking for it. Totally. All right, so I'm actually out of energy for my three hour class, which means I need to go and collect some energy around. I will be doing a video for you guys um, at some point. I will be doing uh, one sort of talking about where to find this free energy. If you guys are newer to the game, you may not know all of the spots yet. I have been sort of waiting though to find out the difference between each year. Um, I've noticed years one and two have been the same. There really hasn't been anything new like in terms of uh, those hidden sort of spots. So. Pretty much there's not really any difference. So I feel like maybe when I'm at the end of year two, I'll put a video together showing all the energy spots. Cause I feel like year three, we should be able to unlock like another floor by the staircase there where we get to sort of choose like where we go. I feel like we should get access to another floor. That's, that's how I feel about it. All right, so let's go back into potions here. And we should have enough energy now to finish off three hour. Oh my gosh, I really want this outfit, guys. You have no idea. It's so awesome. I wish we could wear our outfits in class, though. Like, just especially when we're doing classes like this, they're not part of, like, the main storyline. We should be able to. Let's see if you can answer this, Delphi. All right. See how smart we are. What potion is used to rid yourself of doxies? Doxidote, doxicide, and doxin. Well, it's doxicide, guys. I know that. Those were the doxy. Though that was tricky. That was very tricky. Like, I mean, I knew, but I mean, if you're like, oh, it's doxy something, that's not gonna help you. <laughs> you had to know exactly what it was. All right, so we got three 
crests from this one or stars. Um, I mean, they're called crests, but you could also count them sort of as points or stars, whatever you want to call them. Um, so towards the outfit, which is actually really awesome. So I'll keep working on that. So fingers crossed guys that I get it. Um, now that does actually give us our first reward just by doing one three hour class. That gives me two red books. I'm gonna wait to collect a little bit later though, but just so you guys know, um, like all you have to do is one class to at least get a couple of books, which is pretty sweet. Um, now I'm gonna go into the grasslands here. And I do have a question for you guys though in a minute. Um, now I am going to go ahead and give some attention to my two creatures or my two friends. Obviously the Niffler being my number one. I wonder how he handles sort of seeing Delphi in different looks. Never seems to complain. Choose your reward, a gem! Yay! That is awesome. Super happy about that. I love when I get rewards of gems. Like even if it's just one, it's like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> I need the gems so I can buy more cool stuff. And interacting, obviously I have to do this like every time. So cute. I'll never get sick of that. Especially with Delphi with different looks. It's definitely always cool. Now there isn't anything yet with the Porlock. I wonder if we're going to get some sort of interaction. Maybe once we've sort of maxed out our friendship with it. It's only devoted right now. So we have to sort of wait. It is now trusting our food a little bit more. It's not like poking it going like, should I trust it? Is it safe? It actually is like sort of. Like, oh my goodness, Delphi is feeding us. This is good. Um, now, by getting, uh, obviously, to the next level with the friendship with the Porlock, that will sort of allow us to get some awesome rewards, and we will actually get a red book from that, so I'm <laughs> looking forward to it. Now, I would like to invest in another creature. This will help my Magizoologist level and stuff like that. Um, I'm sort of obsessing a little bit about it right now. I don't know why, but I just am. Um, now there is the fairy to adopt and it's only 30 red books. Now I know I don't have 104 and you're like, oh, that's lots of books. Totally do it maybe. But I mean, it does take a while to sort of collect all these books and stuff like that. If you guys think the fairy is one of the creatures that I should invest in, let me know in the comments below. I've been really sort of tempted to do that. Now I also was thinking about waiting till I get matches well just four for the dragon, but maybe I should be collecting some, you know, creatures along the way, again, like the fairy that is going to sort of help me get there and hopefully I'll earn those books back in the meantime. But I'm thinking I should get the fairy, but um, I will definitely do it um, maybe when I sort of get the spring showers outfit. If I get enough feedback for that, I will totally go ahead and add the fairy in here. Unless I just get super desperate and add it before then, but I, I should add it um, when I sort of get the spring showers outfit. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Also the chapter that is going to be posted tomorrow. And thank you guys so much for watching another Delphi Augury, Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery video. I will be posting some other Harry Potter stuff on the channel soon. I'm working on it. Um, but in the meantime, there's definitely lots more of this game to come. So thanks guys for watching and we will see you for the next one. Bye.